Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal, and have I got a seriously interesting video for you today. Do you go work every day dreading it? Do you hate your job and stomach churningly don't want to be there? Do you love antiques and collectibles or do you have a hobby that you want to turn into a full time job? Do you think you can go from one to the other and still keep your house and pay your mortgage and your bills? Well, today's video is going to be a long one. But I'm going to talk to you about every subject I can to help you transition from your job you hate to a job you can love. Guys, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the end of the video for every tip I can give you on being successful. Okay guys, so you're in work, you're not happy, you want to transfer. The very first thing you want to even think about doing is a business plan. Now, I'm going to base my business plan on what I do, which is car boot sale, buyer and reseller of antiques, collectibles or anything I fancy at car boot sales I think I can make a bit of money on. There's a whole host of people out there on YouTube who can help you, people, resellers who do clothes, who do CDs, who do toys, no matter what subject you want to do. This business plan can be adapted to suit any job, any service, any business, but I'm basing it on the antiques trade and the car boot sales and antique fairs. So I really hope you find it helpful. Okay, so you're doing your business plan. Number one on your business plan, what are you going to do? What are you gonna offer? What services are you gonna to offer to sell? What items are you gonna sell? What's your business going to be about? Now myself, as I've already said, based on a car boot sale reseller, so for me it would be, what am I going to sell? Toys, jewellery, antiques, and so on. You decide what service you're going to offer or what item you're going to sell. That is key. Don't just think. You need to start with the plan. What are you going to do? Again, now you know what you're going to sell, or uh, as, as we use in the template for me, what are you going to sell or offer? Where are you going to sell it? You're going to sell it online. You're going to sell it on eBay, ETA, Amazon. Uh, you can have your own website built. Are you going to have a brick and mortar shop like myself here and sell your services or your products? That's the next thing you've got to look at, guys. Where are you going to sell? You need to know. So, now you know what you're going to sell. You know where you're going to sell it. You need to know how much it's going to cost you to sell it. Now, I'll use eBay as an example. Now I sell a lot of my things on eBay. So you got eBay seller fees, you got eBay listing fees, you then get paid through PayPal, so you got PayPal fees. Um, I've got a brick and mortar shop, I have rent, I have insurance, I have council rates and everything else. You need to know how much your expenses and your costs are gonna be. The smallest of costs, guys, even stamps, you know, we cost you to wrap your stuff up. Everything adds up, you need to know down to the last penny what your expenses are going to be otherwise uh, trust me your profit will soon dwindle away and you won't make a penny work out every single expense no matter how big or how small so you know where you're going so we know all this already now how much do you need how much do you need to pay your bills how much do you need to live on how much do you want to save each week you need to know how much money you need to clear each and every week that you can comfortably leave your job here and start your job here. If you're earning £300 a week there and it's still not enough, then you say, okay, I've got to earn £400 or £500 a week here in order to pay my bills and be comfortable. So you need a clear image of how much you are going to make each week for yourself in your plan. Now you know how much you need for yourself, you need to know how much can you pay for your stock you need to know how much of a margin of a markup you're going to have if you're buying new most things come with a recommended retail price if like myself i go out to car boot sales i buy at antique fairs then i put my own price on there but you need enough of a margin for example if you want to clear 500 pound a week profit uh, then your bills you realistically want to turn over 2000 pound a year that's based on 25 percent of your income going on the cost of stock 50% of your income going on the cost of expenses and 25% going in your pocket. So stay in with that there guys, right? You need, for every £10 you spend, you need £40 return. 
you haven't got to be 10 into 40 it could be 1 into 10 sometimes but the overall has to be 4 to 1 on your money now you can do that over the smaller items but the problem is if you sell more items let's say for argument's sake i was to sell 10 items on ebay i'd have 10 lots of commissions and 10 lots of listing fees and everything so my margin would have to be bigger to have the same profit take home you're better off selling one item with a larger profit if you can than 10 items with small profits and keep your bills simple that way but take into account if you're selling multiple items to make the money you may need a bigger turnover to get that same margin okay because your expenses will increase so remember that guys okay so your business plans almost done you know what you're gonna sell you know where you're gonna sell you know how much to pay and how much to sell it for but where are you gonna buy it myself I buy at car boot sales antique fairs flea markets charity shops and so forth you need to know do you go to auction houses do you go to warehouses depend on what you're gonna sell or offer but then like myself my buy-in is seasonal if I can't go to car boot sales as much in the winter as I can in the summer so I then got to have plans in place to how am I going to keep that business running all year round and keep the income coming in it's no good if you can buy well in the summer and you've got nothing to sell in the winter you're out of business can't pay your bills bye bye house make sure you can buy all year round and if you can't make sure you have provisions where you put so much away to sell each week throughout the winter guys plan ahead final part of your business plan guys is your business projections where you got where do you want it to go do you, where do you want it to grow you don't want it to just stay stagnant if you have a bad month don't just put it down to a bad month or it'll get better next month analyze everything find out what went wrong this month what was different this month fix it plan ahead plan a growth always always guys plan and work hard and don't just settle and if you have a quiet day work at it and I really hope you're successful that's the business plan now we're gonna move on to the next part guys don't leave it gets better so your business plans done you've decided in your gut you want to leave that old job and you want to take a chance but you're still really scared on can you really make the money and pay your bills like myself I got children at home if you don't pay the bills the children go hungry you lose the house and everything else guys so my honest suggestion to you would be start slow start part-time keep your job if you're gonna do the reseller on eBay start selling in evenings and weekends and see if people want the product you're offering uh, you know you can put five or ten pieces on this week and see how long does it take to sell in five or ten pieces and test the test the waters if people don't like your product if the public don't want one you're offering doesn't mean your business plan is bad just go and change your product and as I said analyze don't just do it once and it's fail and give up keep trying guys but don't just jump in a deep end and quit your job you really need to step in very slowly very well, just be safe test the waters and analyze your results and do it over a period of time guys and gradually build up from one to the other whatever you do I would never recommend anybody just jump in the deep end and start chuck the job in and say well I gotta sell it tomorrow because believe me you're gonna lose as much money as you're gonna make now you've started your selling one way to make sure you can be successful is to get your name out there now you need people to see your merchandise so no matter where you're selling you need advertising guys Facebook groups free online websites you can do your own for a five or a month you need advertising when you do um, make YouTube videos on it people will let people then come to your shop or to your store from the YouTube videos anything you can do to give you free advertising you gotta do it the biggest key guys to being successful and having a successful business has to be putting the work in you can't expect to list one or two items a week or be, if you've got a shop be open one or two hours a day and still make the money I sit in my shop six days a week I go to the car boot sales on the seventh and I still work online whilst in my shop I put the hours in I put the effort in you get out of what you put in if you put in hard work you will get a reward 
So, in my opinion, anybody can throw their job in if they're working in a factory, they're working in an office or anything and they're unhappy. Anybody can do a job, follow their hobby and their dreams and turn it into a successful business. You can have websites for a few pound a month now, it's so cheap and simply just put in your heart guys. Put your heart and soul into it, put the work into it and you will make a success. Just make sure you go in prepared, that's all I would say. Go prepared and test your waters, okay? I really hope this video has helped you. Um, I know I got a few friends who do eBay part-time, want to make the transition and the jump into full-time reselling on eBay and things, but they're a bit nervous. So if there's any of you out there like that, I really, really hope this video has helped you. Guys, hope you've enjoyed. If you have, I would really, really appreciate the like and the share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. You'll find me on Facebook, I have a page in the group Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay, my seller ID is Antiques Arena Clearance. I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come visit me in my shop, it's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox, 45 3 Hotel, Bravo. Thank you for watching guys. Bye for now.